Hi everyone, let me introduce myself. My name is Grace Angelina Putri from GKJ Purbalingga. I will tell you a very interesting story about Ehud and the fat King Eglin. Because of the immorality of Israel, God raised a wicked king named Eglin over them. This fat Moabite king oppressed the people so severely for 18 years that they cried out to the Lord. Lord, please send someone to save us. The Lord chose Ehud, a Benjamite, to be the second of the judges. Ehud has a special quality for this mission. He was left-handed. Do you know left-handed person? Yes, left-handed person is a person who uses his left hand more dominant or effective than the right. He used his hand to do his daily activity. He made a double-edged sword about 18 inches long and consolidated on his right thigh under his clothing. The Israelites sent Ehud to deliver their tribute to Eglin. King Eglin was a very fat man. Malnutrition was very common at that time. So, can you imagine how greedy King Eklund was? When people were starving, he didn't care about other people and keep eating all he wanted to eat. After leaving the tribute, Ehud sent away the man who had carried it. Then he left. But when he reached near Gilgal, he went back and said to the king your majesty i have a secret message for you for me okay said eklon and then eklon sent his servants away ehud approached the throne where the king stood ehud drew his sword from its hiding place and thrust it into eklon's belly Eglon screamed and died. Ehud locked the door and escaped. The servant said, He must be relieving himself. So they waited and waited, which let Ehud get away. When Ehud got to the hill country of Ephraim, he blew a trumpet. Ta -ta -ta -ta. He led Israel people down to the forts of the Jordan River. In the battles that followed, the Israelites killed about 10,000 Moabites, allowing no one to escape. After that victory, Moab fell under Israel's control and there was peace in the land of Israel for 80 years. So, what life lessons we have from Ehud? First, God can use Greeks. We may possess a Greek that many seem useless, but God can use anything to carry out His will. Ehud's left-handed taken down the Moabite king. Otherwise, the guards would have found his weapon and probably killed him for trying to kill their king. Second, God can do incredible work through a single person, including you. After Ehud kills the king, and the Israelite puzzles the Moabites, they experience 80 years of peace. No one could have guessed a single person could have changed the history of the Israelite nation in a single day. 
And don't forget, Ehud came from the smallest tribe of Israel, Benjamin. You can be chosen by God to do many incredible work also. Don't be shy, just do what you can do, and God absolutely will help you. God bless you. Bye.